guys it's Chris here from some bloke who travels a lot and today we are in Liverpool but we're on our way to Belfast now I visited Liverpool a lot especially during the pandemic as a world famous iconic city thanks to four five six guys um, I could make videos about it for the travel channel so there's lots of them about the Beatles museums hotel reviews and of course the obligatory ferry across the Mersey now, while I was taking one of my trips, I love boats, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do the overnight on the Stenner Ferry, spend the day in Belfast, and then come back on the overnight from Belfast to Liverpool? That was the original plan. Like all my travels, it never goes according to plan, because I love Belfast that much, especially the Titanic Museum. A must, must visit. So I changed my day's plan and stayed at an overnight in Belfast and caught the day sailing back the next day. Now, I was originally gonna make one long video about it, but it just seemed to drag on because there's quite a lot to talk about on a ferry. So this video is just the cabin. Now, I'd booked the deluxe cabin going out, so the lap of luxury, and in the next video, I'm gonna talk about the Stena Lounge, the Heidi Lounge, whether a lounge is worth the money, and also a secret third option to relax. And then in the third video, we're going to look at, well, well we're basically going to explore the ship, the public areas. Do you need a lounge? Do you need a cabin? What can you eat on board? Is it worth eating on board? So do please like the video. And if you want to see what's going on on the rest of the ship, do subscribe to the channel. And if you ring the bell, YouTube will notify you when I publish those next videos. Anyway, enjoy the cabin. Is it worth deluxe money? Now you get your cabin key at check-in. I was a foot passenger, so I got that at check-in in Liverpool before we boarded the, the ship. And I think it's the first thing you do if you've got a cabin. You go straight to your cabin, unpack, and then find the lounge, the bar, the cinema, the entertainment. So, right at the back of the ferry ship, on the ninth deck, we find my deluxe cabin. I'll put the details of what I paid for this in the description below. And you can now make your minds up. Is this worth the money for an overnight crossing? Uh, answers in the comments. Right, let's have a mooch. And conveniently, I can show you where I am on the ship. Right at the back, on pretty much the top deck. There is the upper deck, but there's nothing on that. Right, what have we got? Well, this is the deluxe cabin, two people, with a balcony. Just, just bear with me on that one. Just move my mask out of the way, left it on the table. So I have tea and coffee making facilities. I have a television. And we've got a bit of a mini bar. Well, it's not a mini bar, but it is a fridge. And it's got some water and some tango. Could probably do with being defrosted. This is a bit, a bit poor. We'll have a, a look on the telly and see what's up there. I'll put some information in the description below. It's a nice size double bed. This, I presume, is going to come out and be seating. So if there was a few of you travelling, especially in the daytime, you could have quite a bit of space here. And let's see what amenities we have. So we have some reading lights. We have plugs. And this is what I was looking for. USB sockets because that's the only charges I brought with me. This is really there and back to see how far it is this trip. So I'm traveling light. Anyway, the room, talking of light, is nice and light and airy. The bed's firm. It is clean. The only thing I would fault as a so far is the is the fridge could have done with being defrosted. Let's have a look out. The window, and ladies and gentlemen, is Liverpool. 
we'll see. We'll see what we can get. I think maybe stick a camera on there and see what we can film during the journey. We've got a few little snacks. That's handy. I mean, if you were absolutely shattered, which to be honest, I am, you could, uh, you could easily just come straight up to your cabin, have a cup of tea, have a light snack, and go straight to bed. Because it's got on board, it's 20 past nine, get off at half past six. Now I'm gonna show you the balcony. Now when you book this, it says there's a balcony. And when you start reading some small print, it says direct deck access. So, I think they might be a bit annoyed if I suddenly move my table and chairs and set this up as my balcony. But, pretty quiet so far. But it is, yeah. I mean, it is straight out. I'm gonna stand on there, grab some fresh air and uh, film us leaving. You can see they're still loading up. Because we're not due to leave for some time. Right, let's go and have a look in the bathroom. Oh, one thing I slightly missed. Bit of hanging space. And a full length mirror. There is a ridiculous amount of PowerPoints here. It's just, I think it's one, two, three, four. There must be about eight PowerPoints in here. Anyway, into the bathroom. Shower. Does have that soapy smell. Who seems the same to me on a ferry. It's always the same. And um, there's the soap in question. So we have that. We have a sink, as you can imagine, there's a full length mirror there. It's a nice clean loo. I mean, obviously this has just been turned around. But, you know, nothing wrong with that at all. That'll do, that'll wake me up in the morning. And there's my lovely bed, which I would love to jump in right now. But I think I'm gonna try, well not try, I'm gonna go and get something to eat. Okay, cheers guys. So do you think it's worth it? If you look in the description, you'll find how much I paid. Is that a little bit of luxury on an overnight crossing? Is it a bit of luxury? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget, we have another two videos about the Stella Line, the Tale of Two Lounges, and uh, exploring the ship, and the other amenities, and of course, the food on board. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please do give it a like. Uh, anyone traveling on this route, please share it with them. And don't forget to subscribe, and if you ring the bell, YouTube will notify you when I publish a new video.